In this video, we'll be discussing the traffic offense relating to the BC Motor Vehicle Act Section 177, also known as failing to yield for an emergency vehicle. That's coming right up. Hi, my name is Sean and I'm one of the driving instructors here at Zula Driving School. So let's take a look at what the Motor Vehicle Act states. It reads, on the immediate approach of an emergency vehicle giving an audible signal by a bell, siren, or exhaust whistle, and showing a visible flashing red light, except when otherwise directed by a peace officer, a driver must yield the right of way and immediately drive to a position parallel to and as close as possible to the nearest edge or curb of the roadway, clear of an intersection, and stop and remain in that position until the emergency vehicle has passed. So, what does this mean in layman's terms? Well, you need to pull over when you see an emergency vehicle approaching, such as a police, ambulance, fire truck, with their siren and or flashing lights on. You should pull over to the right side of the road, unless you're on a one-way street, in which case you can pull over to either side of the road. If you're on a highway with a physical barrier and the emergency vehicle is approaching from the opposite direction, you do not need to stop. Failure to abide by this section of the Motor Vehicle Act can land you a $109 ticket with three driver penalty points. Now, this is only valid at the time of making this video, so the fine and points can increase in the future without notice. For the most up-to-date information, be sure to visit ICBC's website, as well as the BC Motor Vehicle Act. And if you have any questions or would like to receive driving lessons to improve your driving skills, be sure to check out our website at www.zula.ca. Thank you, and until next time, remember that having a cooperative attitude on the road goes a long way in keeping everybody safe on the roads we share.